if you're searching on YouTube how to fix CPU bottlenecking while gaming in 2024 so to present this video I'm gonna show you how to fix CPU bottlenecking and increase your GPU performance so guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time here please subscribe drop a like on this video and without wasting any time let's dive straight into over this video so guys in the very first step of this video and the main reason you are getting the CPU bottlenecking that is power throttling so guys therefore in the very first step we are going to disable the power throttling on our windows so guys for that press windows are together from your keyboard and you will find out here this run window now simply type here gpedit.msc and press enter you will get here local group policy editor window you need to go for this computer configuration tab go for administrative template now go for system now scroll down and find out here power management folder so guys here we got it so double tap here and open up this folder inside you will find out power throttling settings open up this folder now here you will get turn off power throttling so open up this file now you need to enable the settings for turning off the power throttling on your windows 10 or 11 whatever you are using and 20 percent this will help you to fixing the cpu button lacking on your pc so guys click on the apply button hit ok and close out this window so guys in the next step you need these two optimization tools on your pc link will be available down in the description simply go there and download the files on your pc our control and process lasso will help you to fixing the cpu button lacking on your any pc or laptop so guys in the very first step double tap on park control and install this application on your pc so guys hit yes click ok click i agree click next and install the software on your pc so guys here you will get the power control now in the very first step we are going to optimize our windows power plan settings that is another reason you are getting the high cpu usage so guys you need to go for this drop down and go for bit some high performance after that this will automatically apply all the settings on your pc now click on the make activate apply the settings and this will enable your old cpu cores for getting the maximum performance out of it now hit ok now guys before going on process less so here is another optimization that will 50 percent fix the cpu button lacking so guys for that you need to go for your window search and search for power and there you will find out choose power plan settings so guys go for choose power plan settings here we have selected the bitsum high performance which will provide the best optimized cpu performance now you need to go for this change plan settings now go for change advanced power settings and here you will get this advanced power settings now you need to simply scroll down go for this option that is the processor power management click on the drop down and inside you will find out minimum and maximum processor state now you need to go for this drop down go for the settings and simply set this minimum processor state on 95 percent therefore we not get any time the 100 percent cpu usage that causes the cpu button lacking in status you guys hit apply now go for maximum processor state also set it on 95 percent now hit apply click ok and guys save these changes now close out this power settings now in the next step we are going to utilize the process lasso so guys simply double tap here and open up this application click yes click ok click i agree click next and install the software on your pc after installation here you will find out this kind of the interface of the process lasso now in the very first step you need to go for this main option now here we have selected the bitsum high performance already on our pc now you need to go for this pro balance enable make sure to uncheck all these boxes from here after that now you need to guys launch the game in your background in which you want to fix the cp button lacking or for your overall pc so let me just launch my fortnite so guys here we have launched the fortnite in our pc so guys now you need to open up the process lasso and keep the fortnite running in your background now you need to go for this active processes option and there you will find out this fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file now you need to go for this file in the very first step go for cp purity now go for always and if you are getting guys any kind of cp bottlenecking so you need to guys set the settings onto the normal if you have set it on above normal or high so that will make it worse so therefore guys make sure to set it on normal or below normal therefore you can get the lowest amount of cp usage that will fix your cp bottlenecking so guys set it on normal or below normal after that now you need to go for the cp affinity go for always and now from here you need to select out all your cp cores after that now you need to go for input and output go for always and guys again set it on to the normal if you are getting the cpu button lagging now in the next step you need to go for this more option there you will find out hard throttle so go for it go for always and set it on no throttle after that now you need to go for disable idle saver and guys turn on the settings and disable the saving from your pc now the final the last step of the process layer so you need to guys find out here the cpu limiter option so go inside cpu limiter 
Now we are going to add a new rule in the process layer. So like if our CPU hit 100% that will automatically reduce the value. So guys, you need to go for this when CPU usage is 100%, you need to set it on 100% or set it on 98%. After that, go for, for a period of one second. Now reduce by this many cores, you need to simply type here one. After that, go for for a period and set it on to the one. After that, click onto the add rule button else you'll add here this rule inside your process layer. So CPU limiter. You can also guys read here this description. Once you have follow all the settings in the process layer, so now click on this close button and guys process layer so will keep running in your background and help you to getting the best performance and fixing the CPU bottleneck while you came in. So guys, now let's jump into our Fortnite. Thank <laughs> you. 